got him, got him. Here, here just run down there. What's up guys, we're out here bow fishing. Um, doing the elusive tilapia today. Um, there's some really big tilapia in here. We're bow fishing, if we can get some, we're gonna do a catch and cook also. But the water level is rising a lot at this lake. So it's gonna make it pretty interesting because from the first time I bow fished here and there was no weeds, now there's weeds everywhere. So we both got bows today, me and Juju. We're gonna see if we can get a couple today. It looks promising, I've already seen a couple nests, but let's go ahead and get at it. That's what we're after right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but over here, that light blue, those are five, six pound tilapia down here in their nests or in their beds, whatever you want to call it. Let's see if we can get one. I don't make good dinner. Where? It's over here. Remember, aim a little bit low, okay? They're passing by that hole right there. He's in there. Shoot. Hold on, he's right here. He's right here. Come here, come here, hurry. There's three or four of them. Send it, send it. There's about there's about five of them. See it? Oh there, that bunch. Yep, send it into that. Ooh! Got him, no? Man, that was I thought you had him. Thought I did too. Shot, I heard it. I, I didn't even, I wasn't filming over there. Woo! Don't let them come off. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I jinxed them. <laughs> I jinxed you. All right, y'all. It sure is super muddy out here. But I managed to get one. Turns out that they are here and they are in this water, just super muddy. It's very windy here and it kicked up a ton of mud. It's not very windy, but it's windy enough that it kicked up a ton of mud and the water visibility where, where I'm seeing them is literally like two inches. And these guys have got amazing, amazing eyesight and they're very finicky too, extremely finicky. So I got this guy, he's kind of dirty but I couldn't clean them because the edge is very, very slippery and I seriously almost fell in. I saw a ripple of one swimming. Get ready, get ready. Send it. Ooh. Almost, good try. You almost had him. He was moving. So there it is, y'all, number two. Um, Unfortunately, I didn't get this one on film either. Um, my dad's running the camera today and he's following around my brother Juju and I'm kind of just venturing off and seeing if I can't find some, I see one down there. Hold up guys, I see one. I just set this guy down and go see if I can't get him. I'll be back in a second. Right here. Yep, yep, that's what I'm saying. Well, I got lucky because right when I came down here, Senior and Juju came around so they're gonna go after that one, but nice to lap you here. Number two, this one, like I was saying earlier, guys, if you shoot at them just the first time you see them, they're gonna book it and they're not gonna come back for a while. All right, so we see one five, six pounder. Juju's gonna make a move. Gotta get up closer. Look at one move. This is the smartest fish on earth right here. They literally put their eyes above the water and they'll see you creeping up. Almost had him. Next yeah. one. Shot a couple inches in front of his face. They're done with their beds. There's a bunch of fry everywhere. So this is the end of it. Since the uh, quarantine was in effect, they've already got their chance to spawn back here because the water's been hot. Plain and simple back here, the water's super hot. 
hot so normally in this spot it's the earliest spot we'll find them because it's really warm back here so they'll come back here first and spawn so we might need to come back another day and go look at somewhere else where there's colder water because i'm it's just my assumption yet another one now i might just let off of them now for a little while and see if juju can shoot them i'm trailing behind them they're way ahead and i can hear him shooting every once in a while but i guess he just keeps missing it's hard it's very hard i've been doing this for a long time and i still have trouble a lot of times but getting used to it now i guess another nice one Another one? Yeah. Man, Adrian just got another. You better get him out. He's he's not hooked good. Adrian just got another one. Wow. What a beast. Yeah, another nice one here. Juju, you want these glasses? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. He came up. He was swimming here. I think he was watching you guys and thought you left. Because I went back and got the stuff. And then he came back up in here. And I shot him right there. Four pounder. Yeah, another nice one. Sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bleed them real quick, and then um, throw them in that ice chest. All right. Nice. Dang, this is a, every single one I shoot, we're not feeling that one. I was, I see them and I shoot them. Dang, that sucks. <laughs> but that's cool. We'll get one today. We'll get one off him. We have to. You got him, you got him. Here, here, just run down there, pull the string. Through the bush. Through the bush, dude, that's awesome. Don't come off, baby. Don't come off. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't. Oh, you hit him good. Oh, that's a big one too. Holy cow. There's not gonna be room for him in the ice chest. Oh, man. We might have to call it now. I mean, we ain't got room. <laughs> Look at that. Jeez, dude. holy cow. Look at that. My thing. gosh, hold up. Let me put my hand next to him. Look at the size of this one. Man, the biggest one today is the nice only 12. one we got to film so far. He's over 12. Oh. That dude's like 20 inches probably or more, 24. That's two footer. Nah. Right. Yeah, probably. That thing's huge. That's crazy, guys. Right when the camera's about to die, too. We're running out of battery. I was getting worried. I shot all of them tilapia and I thought we weren't going to get one on film. Look at that's, the size of that thing. That's your biggest tilapia ever, I think, right? That might be the biggest one we've ever shot. Five, six pounder right there. Crazy. Holy, we didn't bring a scale with us, but look at that. There's my hand for comparison. His tail's way down there. <laughs> He's a monster. Beast. Here. All right, let me go look around the corner. Okay. That deserves that because I was worried we weren't going to get one on film. That's cool. All right, y'all, uh, we're about to call it a day now, or at least we're gonna start heading back to the truck. We've got probably like five or six. These are their nests. There's another one down there. Where's that? Right there somewhere, I think. No, right there, right there, right somewhere right there. There's another big one. If you're seeing those, you know the tilapia are close by. That's where they're putting their eggs and stuff and watching them and taking care of them. So that's what we're mainly hunting around and it's working so far, but we're gonna go ahead and start heading back. And We've been out quarantined for a couple months and we come out here on a very hot day and do a lot of hiking you know we're burning through water pretty quick and we're getting a little tired here so we're gonna go ahead and head back to the truck we're just taking breaks make taking it easy um, no need to rush if you guys push yourself too hard especially in hot weather uh, that could lead to heat strokes and severe dehydration which is actually a very bad thing it could be fatal sometimes so um, we need to take our time and just head back. That's another piece of advice. If you guys are gonna come out here, make sure you bring enough water. If you start running low, make sure you take your time back because I'm telling you, it's a serious thing to run out of water. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it, ladies and germs. Oh, That's a big carp right there too, holy. Look at that, nice. Perfect shot. It's a big one. It's beautiful. 